Howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the first DIY video of 2022. And I teased this one a little while ago with one of my previous DIY videos. Right here, I have the Ultura from Zeppelin Design Labs. And uh, you might be looking at it saying, what the heck is it? Well, this is a MIDI controller that you build yourself and it is just cool. If you look on the back here, you see the only things you've got a MIDI out port, you've got uh, where you can do a um, boss style uh, pedal power supply to power it, and there's an on off switch. Additionally, if you pop the top off here, you can see there's a nine volt in there. You can also power it with the nine volt, okay? So uh, this is a very cool little device and we're gonna get to some demos in just a second. But first, um, this is now the fourth project that I've done from Zeppelin Design Labs. The first one was the uh, Quaverado pedal right here. You might recognize that and uh, there's a demo video for that if you haven't seen it. Shortly after that, I did the VPN1 kit here which drops into a standard Ernie Ball VP Junior, makes it a lot more functional and this is another cool little kit. There's a demo video for that one as well. And after that, I did the Cortado here, which is a contact microphone that uses XLR phantom power. So it has an active preamp in there and it's just a really fun little thing. You can do all kinds of stuff with this. Now, the reason that I mentioned that um, is because I've had a fair, ex fair amount of experience now with Zeppelin Design Lab products and they've all been very well designed, very well laid out, great instructions and uh, very intuitive to put together and again, the inside of this one, I know it's probably kind of hard to see that there, but you get this PCB and you just start soldering all the parts. It goes together very quickly. I mean, honestly, when I started on this one, I didn't have a lot of time. It was like I had, you know, some place I needed to be and I was like, well, I'll get like halfway through it. And so I started it. I finished it in the amount of time I thought it was going to take me to get halfway through it. Um, one other thing that they do that's really cool with this kit, you can buy this plastic case, which, which I have here, which actually, it comes flat packed and you actually put the whole thing together and uh, it's all made out of this black plastic. Or they give you a template where you can make a case out of some sort of card stock or cardboard or whatever. And so they give you basically the way to make your own case as well. So anyway, I just think that's a very neat thing that they do here. And then you can see there are seven pots across the bottom, three buttons right here, and an LCD screen. And of course at the top is our LED. And you can see when we turn it on, um, we see characters on the screen. Hopefully the camera can detect that. Sensors on both sides. And these are actually a little speaker and a little microphone. So as you move your hand closer or further from them, you can control them much like you would control a theremin with the antennas. Um, but it's actually sending out like a, an ultrasonic wave and then it's bouncing back to the speaker. So actually pretty cool, uh, great idea. Again, these guys seem to have very uh, good logic behind their products, but additionally they work pretty well. So actually with that, Let's just take a listen to some of the things that this thing can do. Okay, so here is the Altura here, and I've got my uh, Microbrute synthesizer over here. And the Altura is plugged in with MIDI, so you can see the MIDI coming out of the Altura and into the Microbrute here. So I'm gonna go ahead and power the Microbrute on. So you can see as I wave my hand over the speakers, I realize it's probably not the greatest angle of seeing what my hand is doing, but as I move it closer, then with the left hand here, I can cause it to pitch bend. So if I pick a note, I can get pitch bend with this hand. Now, of course, the sound is coming completely from the microbrute over here. There's no sound coming out of the Altura. So if I pick a note here and change a parameter on the microbrute, We still have all of our control on the microbrew. So we're just controlling, we, all of our sounds are coming from the microbrew here, but we're controlling them with the Altura. But the Altura can do a lot of other things other than just this in the little pitch bend. It has a lot of other functions. So let's take a look at a couple of those. So one of my favorite settings is it has an arpeggiator mode. So in the arpeggiator mode, it's technically functioning as an arpeggiator, but basically it ends up being like a sequencer. I'll show you what I mean.
Okay, so another cool thing about the Altura here is you can actually change keys and scales as well. So you can actually make it, you know, go with something else that you're doing. So for instance, if I change here, you can see, so I'm an F, G, A. Then I can also change the scale here. So like I can do, then, Now, of course, since this is MIDI, it will work with any instrument that supports MIDI. So here I have my Dave Smith Mofo, and I've plugged the Altura into that. And check this out. So there you go, folks. That was a quick look at the Altura Mark II from Zeppelin Design Labs. Kind of showed you what it can do. And obviously, since it's a MIDI controller, it does not make sound. But as long as you can control another sound source like a synthesizer, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff with this thing. And it is just really a cool idea. Um, this one was sent to me by the folks at Zeppelin Design Labs. So in the name of full disclosure, they did send this to me for review purposes. Um, but the other three projects I did from them, I did, uh, you know, just pay for myself. So they actually saw the videos and thought, hey, this guy's pretty good. Let's send him something else. So uh, I really love it when vendors do that. I think that's endearing that they want people to review their products and that they actually go out there and see the people that are building their products and the videos that they're making with it. Um, so another A plus for Zeppelin Design Labs. You can buy these on their website. They range from 59 to 89, depending on if you want the kit and you can also get a um, wall power supply with it. You may already have a power supply, especially if you have pedals around. Um, and like I said, you can make a kit if you want to save a little bit of money, then it would cost you $59. And then, you know, the options accordingly. So anyway, very cool little kit. I have one criticism for the whole kit because everything went together nice. It was really great. Um, again, their, their products, their documentation, their help on their forms, everything I just can't say enough good things about Zeppelin Design Labs, but this particular one, the sticker here on the top, the label for the top, is not die cut. So you have to actually take an X-Acto knife and cut out all of these little, um, you know, potholes and buttonholes and the little for the screen. And maybe you can just kind of see here if I get it close, like I messed up a couple, like right there, that corner is not quite so round. You can see I cut out some of the, there should be like a little white rim around the whole thing. And you can see, you can only see that rim and parts of it because my cutting isn't perfect. And just die cut the sticker, guys. If you have to charge $5 more per unit, people would rather pay that than die cut their own sticker. That is just a pain. Anyway, other than that, this is a great little product. Really appreciate them sending it to me and appreciate you guys tuning in. If you like what I do on this channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up for me. I'll see you guys soon.